in addition to polyclonal antibodies, which come from multiple B cell lineages and may bind to different regions of an antigen. It is also possible to produce monoclonal antibodies, which are produced by one single B cell line and which will all be identical. This is achieved by fusing two different cells together. First, a B cell, a plasma cell, which produces the antibodies of interest, to a cancer cell, often obtained from mice from a myeloma line. Uh, in the presence of polyethylene glycol, uh, these cell membranes will fuse, and these two cells can be induced to become one. Now, in this reaction, it is important to separate those cells which have undergone fusion from those which have not. The plasma cells which have not undergone fusion, uh, they are not immortal and they do not last for a significant amount of time. The myeloma cells can be specifically chosen to lack the ability to make a specific metabolite such as HGPRT, uh, which is a metabolite required for DNA synthesis. So those myeloma cells, while they are potentially immortal, they will die uh, if they are put into a medium that doesn't give them uh, this metabolite. And so therefore the only cells which would remain are those cells known as hybridomas. They have resulted from two different cells fusing. They will produce the antibody uh, of interest, and they are immortal, having come from uh, a cancer cell. And so therefore, this is how monoclonal antibodies are produced.